Let me ask you this question. Have you made your mother worried or upset? Or if you haven't, then you're a great son or daughter. But if you have, well, you're just like me. Today I'm going to tell you the story of how I made my mother worried and upset. But before we get into this, if you enjoy watching this video, then subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind in the future. I'm not here to beg. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's just, let's just end this video already. All of this started when I woke up in a normal morning. I was five or four years old at the time, I really don't know. And one of my biggest fears when I was five or four was being home alone. And that's just what happened in the morning. I woke up and, you know, wanted to see my mum and dad. My dad was at work, so I remember that my mum was still here, but she went out. And she left a note saying, I'm going out to get gr groceries. Gr groceries? Is it? Is it that? She just went shopping for some food. But little did she know that I hated being home alone. So the first thing I did was cry. And then the second thing I did was look for my mother. My little brother was also there, but he was just sleeping. So then I went out. Now, I thought I knew where she went, that I went to where the shop was, but there was a problem. I had to cross the road to go to that shop. And let me just tell you, at five, I was terrified at walking down the road. That's why when I'm crossing the road, I would have my hand on my mother's hand or on dad's hand, but I didn't have them. So, um, yeah. I could literally remember me just standing there for 10 minutes, thinking whether or not it's safe to cross the road. Also, I'm surprised how, when nobody walked past me, what is a five-year-old doing here? And, um, I ended up not crossing the road because I was cowardly, so I just said to myself, Oh, well, I think it's a pretty good idea to go home and wait for my mother to come back. So, that's what I did. I went back, but then I heard my name. Now, just for privacy reasons, I won't tell you my name. So, uh, let's just say Rexon. I heard my name being called out. And then, I saw the stranger. And then she said, Rexon, Rexon, shouting my name. And then, I was like, who is this stranger? But little did I know that she wasn't a stranger. I went close. And then, when I said hello, she turned around and she revealed herself as my mother. It was my mother. She had a crying expression on her face, and I knew she was worried. I thought she was about to beat me up and give me the bell, I guess. But no, she, she just hugged me. Hugged me tight. I think I couldn't breathe, but yeah. She was looking at me, saying, Oh, thank goodness you did not run away. And then she said, Promise me that you'll never ever went away and yeah i did i'm sorry do you keep in mind that i did feel sorry for her because well she was my own mother and uh till this day i never did that again now thinking back at everything i felt pretty sorry for my mother just imagine this you're a mom or dad and you're going to work or going shopping and then when you come back your son isn't there, and the first thing in your mind that comes up was, has he been kidnapped, or did he run away, or where is he, you know, you're worrying about that, you're worrying about your son or daughter, and if there was a moral of the story is that you should don't make your mother worried, or father worried, and you should be lucky if they care about you and stuff, that expression, everything I saw on my mother, I could picture it quite well because I felt sorry for her. And uh, also, don't run away. They are father and mother. They're there to love you. They're there to take care of you. I don't think I can get it this far in life without my mother or father. And uh, yeah, that, that's that's about it for my for my uh, story time. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, good, good, good goodbye. Have a nice day. May God bless, bless you. God bless you.